again with another unboxing video. This one is for the Fugitech um, tripod. I found this by TikTok. Yes, I watch TikTok. <laughs> but I saw this girl, um, she had this tripod or a tripod similar to this. And it was basically her showing off how she does her independent photo shoots and stuff. And I thought that was very interesting because I've always wanted to get into photo shoots and things like that of myself like I don't want to have other people have to do it um, so this was a tripod that I was interested in because it does connect to your phone and it has a little um, what's it called it has a little remote that takes the pictures while you're away from it that way you can just press it on the remote and it takes the picture um, so this is Fugitech it's by Lone Star Industry Group from Texas just on the outsides of the box you can see it's this length um, I don't know if there's inches directly on here, but I'll look and then the connections it says it's great for watching movies in bed um, Relax while video chatting selfies with friends practice music or karaoke or group video calls anywhere It's an all-in-one selfie stick and tripod So it has a lot of different things with it um, So some ways that you can use it it says you can set up with tripod and device mount and a phone the height is 1.33 M. The height is 58 to 99 or 98 millimeters, depth less than 22 millimeters, and it's like saying no more sore or stiff necks because you're not looking down, it looks like right in your face. Or you can set it up with a tripod and camera. It's compatible with compact digital cameras and instant cameras as well. So not only is it for phone, it's for like these other cameras too. It looks like a kind of thin tripod, so I probably will only use it for my phone because my camera equipment is kind of heavy and I only trust my um, good tripod with it because last year I had it on a shady tripod and my camera fell on the floor and it broke my lens and I had to pay $200 so not fun. So I definitely will only recommend maybe using this with phones so you don't mess up your camera equipment. So let us get into this. Like I said I got this from Amazon um, a couple weeks ago and i just been waiting to open it. All right, so the first thing that popped out is a mount, I'm guessing, for your phone. Um, it may be tricky with my phone because I have a pop socket on right now, so I'll probably have to take it off while I put this on here, but it's a mount for your phone. And then the box is empty now, and it came with a holder for your tripod, so that's nice. At least it has like a little holder in here. Keep your tripod nice and, um, you know, nice. <laughs> All right, so let's open this. So there's no instructions or anything inside the box, so I guess, oh, right here. Found the instructions right here. We good, okay. So basically with these instructions, these are four easy steps to set up. So number one, you're gonna turn on the remote and the remote is right here, connected to the tripod. And then you're going to put the LED light on remote to flash blue. So you're going to put on Bluetooth, pair it with the device. Um, and when it says Fugitech, that's when you know it's going to be paired. When Bluetooth is connected, you're now connected and ready to use a selfie stick and remote together. Um, additional notes, the iPhone does not come with zoom feature. Any button on the remote works as a shutter. So we don't have the zoom filter. I guess this is more for Androids than iPhones. Um, you can charge it. There has there's a little plug so you can charge your remote and the tripod. I get. I think it's more of the remote than the tripod that you have to charge. You can look through the menu for settings for anything that you need. Bonus tips and tricks: holding the shutter button down will burst mode, so like take a lot of rapid photos. GoPro devices can be attached as well. Remote may face down in the handle. Remote may be popped up for use. Uh, mounting a hole in the bottom of the selfie six is a tripod setup. And front cameras are low resolutions because of that. Selfies you take come out grainy, so you want to use like your back cameras. If you're taking the selfies indoor, make sure that you have the facing light, not the back towards light. You know, photograph 101. Holding a phone at the higher angle will make the shot more flattering, and interesting pops backgrounds look better with your pictures. So they just gave you some tips and tricks about it. So let us open up this tripod and see how it looks. So it extends up a lot, but this is just the basic of the tripod and how it looks. Um, I'm gonna stand it up on the floor and move my camera back so we can see the full length of this tripod. Behind the scenes outfit, but. Um, so the tripod is kind of lower, like my mid waist or whatever. So 
Um, it is kind of flimsy, it feels like, so definitely don't put cameras on here. I can already tell if your camera's top heavy, it's gonna knock it over really easily. So I don't recommend putting your phone on here, honestly. And then it has a little plug where you can put your phone adapter here, um, and then you also can connect your camera, but I really won't recommend that. And then the tripod camera button is down here, the little clicker. So it has an on and off, and then a zoom, as well as to take a picture. Um, so that is this tripod, and I'm gonna do like an example picture to see how it looks like with this. All right, so I attached the iPhone thing to it, and I'm just using this little thing to make it move up further for my phone to fit in it. So let's see if it fits because of the uh, pop socket. Um, so actually, it looks like it is fitting a little bit if I make this go down and it keeps it in there. Oh, so actually does fit with pop sockets. That's good to know. So this is how the camera looks so far. Um, I'm gonna put it this way so we can see how I look from a distance and see how it looks. So the Bluetooth is now trying to pair. It is blue. Um, it's trying to look for the device on my phone. There it is, Fugitech. So we're gonna connect to it. It's trying to connect. And we're connected. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my camera. And now we're gonna see how it looks like taking a picture of myself. So I have this little button right here. All right, so the little button right here, I'm gonna try to test these buttons out. This is zoom in, zoom out, and the camera. So, All right, so we're gonna try and see if this will take the picture. So I'm gonna step back here, away from the camera, and then I'm gonna take a picture. Oh, it took it! So it said that the zoom in doesn't work, so whenever I press the button, it's just going to take a picture. So that's zoom in, zoom out, so it doesn't work, unfortunately, but we can take a picture. So that's really cool. So I'm gonna zoom in on my face. I have to do the manually zoom in. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and take a picture. So I'm very excited. It actually works. And every time I do it, I'll just prove to you right here, it takes a picture. So it does work and I'm super excited that it works so I can do this, take this with me on vacation, set it up easily with my phone. So if I don't need to take my um, camera, I can just take it on my phone and then I can Take it with me on trips because it's very small, very convenient, and then take little pictures. So, very excited.